Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Zach here again. Today I'm going to be making you uh, another one of my school, one of my signature rooms. Uh, just something that I really, really, really am quite fond of and quite curious about. It's, it's obviously uh, sometimes misunderstood as a spirit itself. It's got great history to it, but uh, tangibly some of the fables that come along with it. And at the end of the day, it's probably not the most accessible thing for a lot of people to have. So what I'm going to make today is something that softens the spirit itself. It still brings in some of those beautiful and neat flavors. Uh, and you're going to experience that all in the absence of swizzle. So beginning the drink, I'm going to be using St. George Absinthe, made out of Alamein in uh, California. Pouring 20 mils of that. So it sort of complement those nice herbal notes, that wormwood, that sort of bit of licorice that's coming through. We a little bit of dry vermouth, Mancino Secco. Also carrying a bit of wormwood and whatnot inside, that quinine. Uh, it's really going to complement the flavors of the absinthe. Now, as I mentioned before, absinthe can be quite hard to sort of bring across to uh, and become enjoyable for a lot of people. It's very full-on licorice, it's very intense in flavor, it's very high in alcohol. Uh, I've discovered that stone fruits work really well with softening the spirit itself. So I'm going to be using a little bit of blood peach puree. Now, this drink works really well with lots of different stone fruits, but I find the butt peach gives it a nice pink hue. These peach notes really work well with that flavor. A little bit of lemon to brighten it up. Ten mils or so and some simple syrup as well. Now this drink's a crushed ice drink, so I'm adding 20 mils of simple, because as we start to churn it with the crushed ice, the water level's gonna dilute, uh, become a lot weaker, I guess, in flavor, so it needs that sugar just to balance itself out a little bit. To complement all these flavors together, I just get a nice slap of mint. Chuck that in there. And I'm just going to give that a stir to incorporate all those flavors and make sure nothing gets left behind or left at the top or the bottom. Like I said, it's a swizzle drink, so we're using crushed ice. Just it out to the top. And we're going to get to churn that again with our basket. It sort of mixes everything up, gets it nice and nice and cold. All that little bit of extra sugar we put in there. Uh, sort of helps carry all those flavors through, even though we're adding a little bit more sugar. Crush ice again to the top. And our straws. And we're going to garnish it with a nice mint sprig. That's going to give us nice aromatics, complement the flavor of the drinks, keep it nice and fresh. A nice absent swizzle. It's a nice hot day in Singapore. Something nice and refreshing and a nice new way to enjoy absinthe as well. Thank <laughs> you.